All right, guys, welcome back to Path of Exile, and uh, we are in Solaris Temple. The best temple. The best temple, uh, with all the flame tiles, man. Well, and also Lava Ball Girl, so, you know, whatever. I mean, that's just kind of like a side thing. How, how is that a side thing? Oh, and just, Solar Elementals. Dude, this guy just tried to Kamehameha's, and now he's dead. Kame, Kamehameha's. And you, do you know what I had to say about that? Kamehameha. I quit. Get somebody okay. else to do this fucking let's play. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't, right. I can't, can handle right. that. All right, Assad's in. Or Jack Witchell. Uh, you want to finish the let's play, right? <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll be finished. It'll be finished. All in due time. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fucking solar elementals. They have a. They add. They actually added like into these areas a lot of new enemies. But we're starting to get to the point, I guess, of you're starting to realize that. We're kind of vi revisiting very similar places, and I mean, but they're re they're very revamped though. Like these enemies do things completely different than the old ones. And if Mike wasn't just you know shredding them, then he'd be able to figure that out. I mean, I can't help it. That I'm so good. I'm such a melee character, but uh, but no, it's it's like it's one of the things that some people have said. Oh, that guy literally has a real gun. Fuck, I want a couple of those actually. <laughs> You're, you're right. the wrong kind of build for that, buddy. I know. <gasps> Corbin! I need ball haste, dude. Don't you have one? Mm, I don't think we've got one for the LP. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, you could buy stuff. I mean, that that chest piece you have, maybe maybe you should show everybody again why you're yeah. giving so much, so, so much over-buffed auras. So, basically, earlier on in the Let's Play, we were talking about using the Victario's Influence which gives increased effect of auras you cast, and also supports the auras in the chest piece with level 30 generosity. What that does is it makes the auras not affect me, but affect everybody else with 60% increased effect. I have all the effect nodes from the skill tree, I've got a, you know, the one unique jewel that we got from one of the quests, and I've got that chest piece, and all in all, anything that's socketed in that chest piece, you can multiply its effects by 2.56 times, uh, 2.56, and then that's how strong it is, and son of a bitch. <laughs> the chances of you getting that were really low, but okay. Yeah. So basically, he gets super buffed auras with less reservation cost, but the, the downside is, uh, first off, you have to use that chest base. That is a downside within itself. The yeah, piece. there's no life, there's no resist Sour on it directly. Yeah. Um, that's the first downside. The second downside is... Uh, it does a lot of the auras he puts in there. None of the auras he puts in there can affect him. So they have to affect either his minions or me. Or someone else you party with. So uh, that's why it seems like it seems like I'm it may seem like I'm really strong and I, I and I actually am really strong. Even if Pat wasn't here I'd probably be just one shotting most of this shit. But I'm but he's kinda giving me the damage for like two people. Kind of one and a half people, yeah. I mean actually if you walk away from me actually probably two people actually is about accurate. Is it really that low? Uh, I mean, I, I, I have 8k on my own, 24k when you're beside me. Well, so. I've, also, I've also got the uh, curses, which are like elemental weakness, which that's right. max effect too, so I'm lowering the resist by like 60 to 70 percent. And I mean, yeah, and these are all things that you could technically do solo, but, you know, we kind of don't. Oh, shit, a portal. Uh, hey, there's a Don Harbinger of Solaris. What the fuck? He's trying to railgun me. He's, he's scorching rain, you owl. It's fucking rude. Well, I, I have the brutal shot, so I keep fucking knocking him back. <laughs> maybe, I should, maybe I should remove that. He's like, he's like, oh, let me close to you. All right, well, that's that's that guy. So basically, that, he's all about dim laser beams, yo. This boss fight didn't exist in the beta, did it? It just kind of dropped the sun orb for you, didn't it? I, yeah, because I don't remember, like, as you as said, we're getting into shit, and we just do not, where do we go? Back? To the past? Uh. So there's no waypoint here. But we got the sun orb, so, I mean. Yeah, but if you look on the map, there's a way to leave Solaris yeah, Temple to a... Yeah, that's, yeah, I know, I know where that is. You go back to the waypoint. Okay. It's, uh, there's another exit here. Okay. Yeah. 
here's the thing. It's technically, um, I mean, this is technically not the way we're supposed to go. I'll, I mean, I'll just kind of show you it, but... It, well, I think we'll go, like, the default way. Uh, but, like, let's just let's just leave this place first just so we get, like, a... Kind of, like, 100% out of it. We don't oh, know the... We, we actually literally do not know the most optimal way for exiting this place because... Um, it's just so new. Yeah, everything's so new, but I, I, I have a good idea of how to do this. So, yeah, we, we exit through here. It's just the Solaris Concourse. The fuck is a concourse? I mean, we can, we can kind of go this way. We don't know what concourse is wrong with you. What's a concourse? Well, I, you know, I'm not even going to tell you just because I'm, I'm so shocked that you would know what a concourse is. Uh, oh, okay. It's, it's a place with fountains and shit. Didn't you know that? Uh, I'm not going near this. Ow. I, can't fro I was frozen today. Alright, alright, here we go. Here was where the fun begins. So, Frost Blades. Does a little bit of physical damage still. Um, so, like 173 to uh, 319. So, I could go put one point in, and there you go. Most of it's cut out now. Because that note I just got was a um, um, physical damage converted to cold. And the thing is, it's like it adds up. So, like, I have 60% on the skill I use, and then that's another 20%. And guess what the last one is? It's another 20%. <gasps> so, 100% physical damage. And th there's a couple of benefits to doing 100% uh, elemental conversion, and that is mostly that, hey, everything you add to el more elemental damage scales up. Uh, it scale it scales all that damage, so that's that's kind of nice. Um, and I mean, like, and you still get like the physical damage buffs as well. Like, it doesn't mean that you don't get that, because it, it does it. You have your physical damage, and then it's converted at the end to cold damage, and then it's buffed up by whatever kind of cold modifiers you have. So it's really, really quite nice, actually. What the hell? This is a new kind of fucking flame towel. He's like bombarding you. So not the flame towels I've learned to love. But those oh, are those oh, are new, party. actually. They used to be just the flame towels. Now they're like fucking overseer towels or something. Overseer towel. Yeah. Oh, this oh, no, no, this is this is the this is the these are the standard ones, right here. No, those are the baby towels. Yeah. Quicksilver Flask. Is there supposed to be a waypoint here? Or? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I got Regulus, the Sun's Herald over here, who's leap slamming on the face. Fuck this guy. Well, you Killing fucked him. Monsters. Good job. Yeah, he deserved it. So this looks like the battlefront to me. Um, it is. So does that mean if we stick to this wall, we'll be eventually be able to get to the boarded up door that would have went to the docks? Yep. Okay, then. Never mind. And well, let's see what happens actually at the bottom as well, because remember there was a place from the start from Sarn. Arbingers. Wonder what happened. Well, yeah, sure. We'll kill those first, but my spirit is spent. My spirit is spent. Pat. Oh. Jesus Christ. I'm wondering if I should get a cannot be oh no, because I'm gonna get cannot be stunned in Merc Lab, I forgot. I'm like I'm like, should I get cannot be stunned nose? I thought you were gonna ask again can you get a cannot be frozen flask? There's a a waypoint actually in the exact same spot it was before. Yeah. We're not gonna actually bother going uh, down that way, Pat. Oh. Okay. Because that's that's that that area where is it on the map? Uh, shit, you. Yeah, this one is gonna be play into like a little bit later. I know that much about this act that, I mean, we don't really need to go there right now. I just want to kind of see the Slayer's Concourse, whatever the fuck it's called, and I kind of want to see where we come from with regards to, uh, it's just now. So they just are, have been boarding up everything that we've gone through. Pretty much, yeah. All right, back to Solaris. Uh, sorry, not Solaris. Back to Sarn Encampment. You gotta sell my items. Mate. Mate. Stay out of the shadows, Mike. The boy. The boy. I don't. Want, I don't. I don't like boys. Good luck. To All right. You, You've also been noticing I've been kind of keeping a couple of these elemental flasks: topaz, sapphire, and I don't think I have a ruby yet. Do I? Yeah, I do have a ruby. So I mean, here's the thing: these give you 
50% resistances and a little bit to maximum resistances as well. So if you have trouble with some kind of like elemental boss, maybe maybe you'll use one of these, or maybe I'll use one of these, I don't know. You know like that Sun's Herald guy was all fire, so for some reason he is causing you problems. You Ooh. just go back and get the flask. Alright, so Pat, we're going back to Toxic Conduits. Oh yeah, because it splits off the two directions. Absolutely correct. And so I figure, you know what, we might as well go through kind of like, even though... I don't know if it's longer or not, but I mean, it makes it more interesting to see what like the alternate path would be. So this is the Grand Promenade. Oh, well, it's nighttime. You're nighttime. Or nightish time. Oh, dude, you got a movement skill? What the fuck? Oh no, that was your other character who didn't have one. <laughs> and this, this one didn't have a movement skill for a while. Where are you going? I don't know, dude. I don't know this fucking. What? Layout. Yeah, dude. Usually it's. Although you know, I guess if you kind of look at the map. It kind of would say to go kind of up this way, yeah? I, I, I don't know where I'm going in this one. <laughs> this is a completely new area to me, so... Harbinger! Well, he just spirit bombed us. That motherfucker. I can't do this just yet. And I am getting out of that. That looks like it hurts. Because it was hurting you. I mean, I was leeching back, so... Not a single fuck was given that day. Guys, just imagine how my leech is going to be when I have like 100% more leech. It's going to be fucking crazy. I just like how you keep leaving all of this stuff for me to pick up like you don't even care anymore. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I should care. Sorry, I was used to the other character where I was trying not to pick it all up. So I'd be like, not having like, here guys, I have fucking 20,000 new orbs that we don't I've know. I've got of. four exalts since the last time you saw me. Look at me. Except we still have not seen an exalt. Yeah, well, that's life. Sometimes you don't get exhaust orbs. Oh shit! Man, we, haven't, you we haven't seen a mirror a yet. Moment of your time. Kill the malcontent. Okay, he's up there somewhere. We have not seen a mirror drop in our what collective almost eight thousand hours in this game. Pretty much, yes. Um, that's that's depressing. I might need to reconsider my. Uh, what is this guy doing? Hurting me. One, we do have to keep one guard alive. For the other thing, and I, I kind of can't control uh, wh what I can do with that. So yeah, I'm kind of in a similar-ish boat, to be honest. I actually, I actually like this layout. It's actually kind of cool. It looks nifty. I <laughs> like how that guy with the bubble just is causing you so many problems. Actually, yeah, because like. I'm melee. I can't deal with things that require melee, right? What are you talking about? Oh, wow. Yeah, I, sorry. I, for, I forgot about that. The melee guy is... can't do melee. Yeah. At least it's not spectral throw. My god, the conversations we had. Th this game just is not melee anymore. God, it's spectral but, uh, throw. No, 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 no. I, didn't, I never said that because that wasn't actually tagged as a melee skill. Yeah, but you, you you were so butthurt about it at the time. It was hilarious. I mean, it was really it was really broken though. All right, so okay, I'm gonna to... lure some of them away. All right, I got like one on me. Just go ham. All right, cool. I mean, my damage is pretty standard without pat around. To be honest, it's it's not like over buffed, but it's like nor I would say it's more like normal. But when Pat comes around, then I just start one shotting shut. Because it's like, as I said... You have the power but, of two men. Oh, well, it's like a one point... It's like 1.5 times... With no, the aura effectiveness I have, it, it is literally... You have the power of 2.56 men. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's something like that, yeah. Two, why, why, why the 5-6? Because that's the aura effectiveness I have. Oh. I thought you were just memeing. No. I, Mike, <laughs> this is a meme. I've done the math. Uh, okay. Literally three times, actually. Trust me, I prepared for this Necromancer versus Scion debate. I have like a stack of paper, and by a stack of papers, I mean I'm I'm a you know a next generation kitty. I have a spreadsheet that talks about the different effects of different skill trees. All right, I'm prepared. Uh, I will not lose this debate. I, I'm not. I, I actually stopped caring about what, what class you were playing, so... I lost the debate. Damn it. Oh boy, the bathhouse. Oh boy. Have you been a dirty birdie, Mike? I... I have been something. Dude, there's like two ways to go from here. 
Is there? Yeah. They're gonna yeah. be you. Yeah, uh, oh. Well, we, we know that they're... I think they're some kind of bossier, actually. So, Bathhouse is new, completely. Because this is not a layout I've ever seen before in maps or anything, so... This is not even like I'm, I'm. I'm not even talking about like default game new. I mean, this is like because some of the things, some of the things were in uh, maps uh, before they were in uh, the actual game, and pe people were like, "Oh, they're just making I you know do this just yet. potentially Act Five content, or you know, that's what people thought. Is it, it was either Act Five content or something else, uh, or like they were just trying to keep the mapping fresh. As it turns out, they're making uh, Six X. Well. Can't wait until I stop getting stunned. Is it really six acts though? I, I think we just killed the bosses area, and then the harbinger is actually like much more trouble. But it's, it's not the harbinger's more trouble; it's the harbinger lasts longer. I I, I guess so. All right, Tomb of Hector. What's Wings his last Mister. name, Mike? Uh, I don't know. It's Tatusius. All right, I'll take your word for it. It's Hector Tatusius. Fucking love Hargan. The best voice here. actor. Stay out of the shadows, they're white. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're white. Maybe I should. Maybe I should move to New Zealand and be a voice actor for Path of Exile. So okay, everybody how much work, annoyed at me. How much work do you think there is actually in the High Gardens? All right, so where's this place? Oh, this is actually the uh, side the path. path. Yeah. Well, let's go have a look. I mean, they're pretty high gardens, I won't lie, I can't even see the bottom there. I, th I think that's just fog? Yeah, it is fog, yes. I mean, we are in Sarn, it's like mountaintop kind of city. Is it? I always just thought it was like, again, like Greek flatlands. I mean... Okay, well then they made some architecture really big to the point where there's like fog and shit. Ooh, oh, we're on well the Great Plateau. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, I, I, I was hoping for at least a slightly more uh, enthused response than that, but yeah. I mean, I don't even know what you're talking about. What was your mother's parting gift, Pat? It was a I fertile know. mind. What, really? Alright, no. that raises a lot more questions than, you know, than are needed, but yeah. Ooh. So, Sonics. Sonics are, um... The, we call them Sonics because they have like little they're, things they're, on their back. Oh my god! They do a lot of damage. Um, I mean, it's just when you kill them, they basically just explode into spikes. So if you have like really good clear speed, and then like you don't leech it all back, you, they can potentially kill you. But you're also exploding entire packs at a time. Yeah. That's one of those things that they add to like make sure like you don't do too much damage. I mean, they're not that bad here. And I'm but also those are some bikes in damage you got there. Yeah, pretty much. Aww. But yeah, they're, they're, it's just to keep you in check, or just to have some kind of way of preparing against that. Usually, you just the pop a granite. I mean, usually popping a granite is enough, and we have a granite, so. Hey, it's for each. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go down. A moment of your time. Fuck. Whatever, we'll just go get him. What are we supposed to do? Keep the target on low life. Keep the target alive. I'll it do it. It could potentially be all the way back. Oh. Okay. I, I just kind of set him on fire. Alright, no, I didn't. Okay, he's on low life now. Now we run away from him for a couple seconds. Hey, because that guy leeches anyways. You need to get, you need to back off. A civilized life <laughs> is the I, I the talked to him and then I he did. disappeared. <laughs> the fuck did he go? You went to where I killed him. That's fucking hilarious. I didn't realize I did that. Fucking that man is a master of the martial arts. I can't do this just yet. A ma master of the martial arts. I yeah, just, I just he, like the he fact learned that the instant transmission. Instant transmission. Yeah. I mean, he just got blink arrow shit though. Uh, I think it's. I think for him it's smoke mine. Oh yeah, yeah you're right. You've noticed like these like chrome balls that are following us around, like it's SpongeBob or some shit, right? Oh uh, yeah, of course. 
One second, I got the last thing. So hey, physical you need, damage. You got like three chrome balls attached to you, Mike. There we go. Okay, never mind. There you go. I have no, I have no more physical damage. It's all cold damage now. So what, all I'm hearing from you is the frostbite curse is going to be so good. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm debating where to get my last, uh, uh, my last jewel socket from. For, I think I guess that one because I want, I, I need one more for frost blades. All right. Oh, the pools of terror, but the only way out is terror. Oh, well, let's close this pool. Kill your girl. Okay, so he's um shooting me in the face with balls. Well, that sounds about par for course for you, Pat. Dude, is he a frog? Are you a frog, bitch? Oh my god. Yeah, so he has little balls that follow you around, and I'm not exact we're not exactly oh sure god. how they work. And they hurt a lot, actually. Dude, this is with him enfeebled. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, I, I don't think I don't know if the balls count as him being enfeebled. I don't. I don't, I don't think so. But him specifically is enfeebled, or her, or whatever this frog self identifies as. Frog, frog, frog self. I don't care. Let's just be thankful that I have a twenty percent call. Yeah. All right. So. I remember the first time we did that, we died a couple times, so, um... Fuck if I know how this works. Don't get hit. If you have balls in your face, run. That's all I have to say. Okay, well, let's talk to Sin. Yugal was a cautionary tale. The only way to truly understand fear is to become it. Alright, wise words. What did we get? One of the few good actual uh, Pantheon souls. That reduced reflection? Yep. Eh. Because think about it, don't you get 50% reduced reflected damage taken from your skill tree? Or ascendancy? Um, physical reflection. Yeah, and then with that, you could get 75% reduced physical reflection taken. I mean, that's that's if you're, like, not doing what I'm doing. Eh. Which is frost blades. That's the problem with frost blades. Um... Which I, I actually literally don't know what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> both two of those are like the worst things imaginable. Which is why I thought to myself... So it whatever. was that bloody scholar after all, was it? Sick bastard. Well, he's gone now. And I hope you made sure he suffered like those poor kiddies he tormented. I'd have toasted him nice and slow like a spitted pig. See how he'd like them apples stuffed in his mouth. Here, have something for keeping us safe from the divine undesirables of this world. You found them! No easy feat, I bet. How's old Hector these days? Not so good after you cross paths with them, am I right? I'll polish these wings up and get them back to their owners, just as soon as my Mariketh friend can get her folks to pay the ransom. <clears throat> Price, I mean. In the meantime, take a little something for my stock as payment. Oh boy, here's Conqueror's Efficiency, Conqueror's Potency. And now Conqueror's Longativity. So, uh, usually this one is really good for, uh, I mean, reduced mana reserved. It's a min-maxing jewel for aura, or people. Uh, but we don't really care about most of these. Now, actually, if you could get me Conqueror's Efficiency, because I needed both Efficiency and Potency Stay for my build. Alright, well, you can have it, that's fine. Said before, this this gives aura shit, and I'm literally min maxing into the quotient of like small percentages. So I think I'm gonna go for this jewel socket here. I'm not sure how I planned on doing this, but I don't know. It's uh definitely a thing. And there we go. We got some jewelers orbs from that six socket there. I don't know. I didn't look at these gloves. Not great. Not we are great. looking for we are looking for life rolls, kids. All right, well we're gonna stop here. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Mm, goodbye.